water, the pure water uh, making process. Now I'm going to show you how to use that pure water to clean windows. So, um, now I'm going to have a portable pump. So I'm going to clean up and use a vacuum um, and an attachment in it. Um, sometimes that will be a, because once I do just window cleaning, that will be a big, quite a massive, um, sizable tank. Uh, for people who do other cleaning as well, like myself, um, I find portable pump is absolutely fine, but you can get smaller tanks, 250 litre tanks, which can go in your, um, in your van if you want to. Uh, you can also um, make water up. Tubing yellow is very good for when you're on the pavement, it's um, good for health and safety because people, um, you obviously don't want them tricking and suing you. Uh, here it's a bit long, uh, you can obviously short, you can get stuff, um, have it arranged so that you've got shorter tubing. Um, sometimes if it's too long, you can snag on flats. One of the problems with using one of these systems is um, the water is constantly going on the time until you push that button on. So if you're doing something further away, you've got to run um, and stop this because otherwise this is going to be chucking out water and uh, the water of the pole will be chucking out water which uh, will, be, will just be wasted basically. Uh, although you can get systems um, where you have a, a control valve. Uh, I don't have one. I feel that I can get by that, but that facility is available just in Eden. Um, and that means that you could, whether you're on a, um, when you're doing a job, you can stop the water flow coming out of your water fed pole, and uh, um, it just gives you five minutes to do whatever you need to do and move on to the next window. Um, so now we have the water fed pole itself. Uh, these range from about 100 pounds up into the hundreds, depending on how much you want to pay, really. Um, it's very safe to use unless you just need to make sure that you don't drop it, basically, um, when it's fully extended, because that would, could, you know, could spoil something. Really. But you see how it. This can go to about um, three floors high. I don't need it for that really. I've only ever done that a few times. I think uh, this is usually I just do, um, do second floor really. Uh, so the next thing is just to clean the windows. Now, uh, I've already given these a bit of a already because uh, what happened was um, I did this video once before and it didn't work so I'm now going to do it again but what I was what I did say in the previous um, attempt was that if a window cleaner comes around to your house and just quickly does the window and moves on and you know I would um, have my suspicions because even with pure water um, unless it's 100% pure water, um, and probably not going to be, 
most of the time. You will get watermarks if you make sure the windows enough. When I do windows, on a day like this, the weather isn't brilliant, it's uh, quite dull. Uh, I would do these windows about eight times before moving on. So you've got eight there, eight on that pane as well. If it was really, really hot in the middle of summer, say August, I would be looking at doing these maybe 12 to 16 times uh, before moving on because you just need that, that's the amount of water that you need on there to keep, make sure that when you leave the customer's premises in those windows, when these spots, in fact, you can see where I clean, when these spots actually dry, that they don't become watermarks because these are going to be the total dissolved solids which will remain on the window. So um, that will be the watermark, basically. Yeah, the total dissolved solid is the watermark, essentially. So I will now just give you a brief demonstration. So we switch on. Should we do the fashions as well? Now these windows, although I would have done them eight, today I've done them 16 times because I had to do this video a second time. Um, if you're doing the fashions, there's not, you don't really need to use pure water. You can get away with um, using uh, tap water. So what I would do is, if I was doing fashions as well, I'd do you'd put the tap water in here. Do all the fascias, and then I would um, uh, put the pure water in, and then do the windows afterwards. So that's it. So I hope you've got something from that as well.